very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking of course I have to share with you the results from the premium group as we are doing always and as part of being transparent and honest with everyone this week has been tough this week has been difficult however we are a forex traders and we are professional traders and we know what we are doing so thankfully we were actually I wanted to show you this because I'm sure no other signal provider is ever gonna do this. I am sure there is no other signal provider gonna tell you to close the trade with 14 pips and 12 pips of loss and keep the trade, uh, other trades running in big profits. Pound CHF, Pound GPY has actually made in total 120 pips of profit against very tiny small losses. So I'm sure other th other signals providers, they are just letting the trade to go to the stop loss. They will not even bother to tell you that you should close it with them minimizing the losses. And as we can see, as I said, this week has been tough. But however, the losses are so small and so tiny compared to the big profits that we are making to our clients and that that can be seen actually in the messages that we are receiving from the clients this guy here he have taken a screenshot with with all of his trades are going into the profit here as well and thank you for today's signal that was two days ago uh, on Tuesday as you can see everybody thankfully is happy and enjoying enjoying the service and they are entertaining really some good profits so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact Angela you are you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so let's now go to the live trading session and actually I decided that I want to make some trades on gold and I'm gonna use the one minute strategy or one minute one minute scalping strategy on trading the gold um, one of the hard things or difficult elements in using this strategy is drawing the support and resistance levels um, I'm always telling you that we have to pick the strongest support and resistance levels for example I'm right here at the top or, or actually at the peak of that strong key resistance levels which was actually a strong resistance there as well and if we are looking for the strong support level it's definitely gonna be this one because as you can see the rejection at that level was very strong after the breakout happened right here and we can see that the pair has been ranging at that support level for quite a long time however I know and I'm aware that this is this is actually difficult for so many people therefore I decided that we are going to use Fibonacci retracement to decide our entry for scalping the gold even on the one minute time frame now the question is how we should actually draw Fibonacci retracement that is actually one of the biggest questions that everyone has when they are going to use Fibonacci for the first time if you are a beginner and you are just learning about trading of course the first question you will ask about Fibonacci retracement that yeah I know it's a good but where should I draw it I mean should it be like from this top here or this high here to this higher low or should it be like for example maybe from this from this uh, lower high to this lower low which one is the right one now of course I have said before many times that Fibonacci is correct no matter how you draw it however uh, and for the sake of using my strategy I'm going to explain to you exactly where we should be using Fibonacci retracement before we start the live trading session so for example you need to let me just make it very simple and summarize it wherever you want to start drawing your Fibonacci retracement it has to be right after the breakout for example let's mo move to the 15 minute time frame and let's look right here for any breakout happened and I just want a good example I don't want it to be a complicated so we can after showing you the right example we can move to the complicated one um, for example we're having right here oh shit what is it okay right here we can see that here we're having here a resistance and that resistance has become a resistance of course after the breakout happened from that support actually I, I did it uh, vice versa so well, let's start from the beginning we can see that here we have a support that support has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle and later on that very same level of the support has become a new resistance right now this is here where you should start drawing your Fibonacci retracement and you should draw it all the way to the lowest level or the lowest low um, how can I say that now 
I mean, we, guys, we really don't have much time to explain that thing. So the thing is, I want to say, we will draw Fibonacci retracement like like that, starting from that point until this level right here at the lower low. And as we can see, that level, exactly Fibonacci 61.8, this is Fibonacci 61.8. Right after the bullish breakout candle from the Fibonacci 61.8, we can see that this level has been respected and that resistance has also become another support. That is exactly where you should use your Fibonacci retracement to start buying the pair. And if we track it, we can see that the, the pair has actually reversed on each and every retracement after this. So, tracking this, we can see here the, the pair has actually reversed at that Fibonacci retracement 61.8 and right now after the bearish breakout happened we can see right here two candles representing another reversal look at them so the pair has actually reversed at Fibonacci retracement 50 then there was another bear, uh, bearish breakout candle and it went do down all the way to Fibo 38.2 and it has also reversed not twice not not once or twice but thrice so it, it has reversed three times so looking at that we can see the pair look at that what happened later on the pair actually has um, after making another bullish breakout candle from this resistance again has reversed at FIBO 61.8 and again reversed exactly at FIBO 50 and not only that, it went all the way down to FIBO 23.6 and reversed again. So the point here is, um, if you want to draw Fibonacci retracement in the right way, you have to start drawing your re retracement right after any breakout. So after showing you that example, let's now move on to the more complicated, complicated examples. We can move to this example right here. So as you can see, we're having right here a resistance level. And that resistance has become or has, has been created right after a bearish breakout from the support. So this is where I'm going to start to draw my Fibonacci retracement, just like that. And I'm going to draw it all the way to the lower level. And tracking what happened later, we can see that this Fibonacci 61.8 right here, and that was the bullish breakout candle from Fibonacci 61.8. And later on, the very same level, we can see right here, the pair has reversed. And later on, it reversed also on FIBO 50. So what I'm trying to tell you here is, you need to draw your Fibonacci retracement uh, on the first resistance right after the bearish breakout. Actually, we are going to make another video uh, talking about that exclusively. However, and I don't want to waste uh, the opportunity I'm going to trade right now. So I'm going to the one minute time frame. And again, as we can see right here, we're having here this is the resistance right after the breakout so this is exactly where i'm gonna start drawing my fibonacci retracement it's gonna be like this until the lowest the, 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 i am <laughs> i don't know what happened to me uh from here to the uh, lower low i don't know what happened to me anyway so as we can see right now we don't have much of clear entrance or i don't have really good entry right now so we are going to have to wait some more time until the pair actually reach uh, another resistance but however uh, there is something i wanted to show you about the magic of using fibonacci retracement and you will like it now as you see um after drawing fibonacci retracement like that we can see that fibo 61.8 is way below the current price of the gold hmm that's going to be a problem we have to wait for the pair to fall down until I get a, get a good entry, then I can maybe buy from that point after the pair fall down to FIBO 61.8. Um, actually, you have to, but however, um, there are other options. For example, as we can see, if we track uh, this chart to the left, we can see that right here, we had also another support. That support has become a resistance. Hmm, interesting. Why don't you change your Fibonacci retracement like that and by now we can see that the pair is currently on actually on 61.8 of this pattern that's interesting now the structure the structure is actually um showing us that currently the the, the price is on 61.8 based on that structure of the trend so therefore it means that the price is gonna either break out from this level or actually gonna reverse 
now since I'm trading I'm, I'm using the one minute time frame and currently I cannot see price action what I'm going to do is I'm going to to move to a bigger time frame 15 minutes and I'm going to actually look at the price action of the gold now what we see on the 15 minute time frame is interesting we can see here on FIBO 61.8 the pair has actually reversed right here creating a resistance number one however at the resistance number two attempt the pair has actually made a breakout from that resistance it means most likely that the gold is going to continue the rise and right now we are above 61.8 uh, just by i think yeah i'm actually i'm going to place the buy order uh, I, I just didn't want to miss uh, this opportunity so what i'm trying to explain to you is that the pair has actually made the breakout of 61.8 and therefore it's actually gonna continue the rise now until when it's gonna rise it's gonna rise all the way until it hit that resistance the top of that resistance level now let's see how many pips is that so we are talking about approximately uh, approximately 20 pips which is fine really that is exactly my target actually I'm aiming uh, 10 to 15 pips however uh, 20 is also as good and of course the stop loss is gonna be right here below 61.8 um, there is something I want to talk about which is gold what happened to the gold recently why did this major drop happen recently let me move to the gold chart of the uh, midweek analysis video and let's talk about what happened um, as we can see my friends the gold has been moving in neutral channel for quite long time since the past I would say two weeks however suddenly the gold has made that drop if we if we look at the candles carefully we can see this drop happened in just two days and just sorry in just one day on Wednesday two candles has appeared making that major drop what was the reason the reason is France has just announced actually a lockdown um, I think for the night time however the lockdown in France since France is one of the biggest cities in Europe uh, countries sorry in Europe and if England and Germany and France has announced uh, or have announced a lockdown it's gonna definitely affect the gold and of course it's gonna affect the dollar now what happened is after France has announced the lockdown what happened to the euro the euro went down what happened to the euro when it goes down the dollar is rise and of course what happens to the gold when the dollar rise the gold will of course go down it's of course more complicated than that however I don't have time to explain this I don't have time to talk about this I just wanted to explain to you what happened to the gold um, in short words or actually uh, in a nutshell it has just reversed because or uh, this major drop here happened only because of the rising of the dollar and the drop of the euro and therefore please uh, I cannot take any blame for what happened for the signal everything was going really well everything was going in the right direction the gold was rising for was rising for uh, almost 160 pips then suddenly all of a sudden unexpectedly uh, unexpectedly it has fallen however uh, the other pairs actually I think you can check the AUDUSD has reversed perfectly fine and in just one day one is day it has reached the target of 90 pips and the signal has been triggered exactly from the sell point and uh, looking at the pound USD it's also going well in the profit it went uh, in total of 160 pip 60 pips of profit um, euro USD hasn't been active but however it was in the in the right direction um, USDCHF seems like it's gonna start reversing now so all in all the analysis I think went uh, well except for the gold and I just wanted to explain to you guys that I cannot really take any blame or the fault for what happened <laughs> I'm actually tired of taking the blames for how the forex market moves I shouldn't even be apologizing because um, these are just analyzes and uh, so, um, we're just analyzing the market and we are doing our best um, right now it's actually difficult time for the, the for forex traders due to the US elections and the lockdown in Europe um, there are so many things that actually affecting the forex traders right now um, it gives us so much opportunities for scalp for scalping however swing trading is different story and it's actually quite difficult so please be careful and always be wise about how you are using your uh, money management for example 
right now the gold is going in loss of $50 however I feel safe uh, as you can see the account right now is $1957 and I'm try I'm planning to invest no more than $250 in this on, on this session if it fails forever for whatever reason I'm gonna stop trading until afternoon and I'm going actually to focus on the pound NZD and the pound JPY because these two pairs are actually my safe um, choice for scalping however I, I usually I use them to recover and I use also the gold but we always have to be careful about what time we should be trading them for example the pound NZD right now is not really why it's not really good to trade the, the pound NZD at the moment uh, let me show you the time here in Dubai right now it's 8 a.m. in Dubai time which is actually um, 4 a.m. GMT time, right? Um, yes, 4 a.m. GMT, yes, 4 a.m. GMT. Uh, pound NZD right now is not really good for scalping at all. It's, it's going in very low volatility. Uh, same goes with the pound GPY. So therefore, uh, pound GPY, actually, we are having here a good opportunity. Um, I'm thinking if I should enter it, just three pips. Hmm. Actually, that's a really good entry for the pound GPY. We can see here we're having a very clear previous support level. That previous support is definitely going to become a resistance, especially seeing the trend going down, especially knowing that the pound itself is also going down. So there's a good chance that also, also the GPY pair, that the GPY currency is actually rising. So I believe we're having good entry for uh, the pound GPY. Um, I'm going to set a reminder here, an alert to notify me whenever the price is actually going to reach that resistance and perhaps I'm going to place sell order. Actually, I'm thinking to place it right away. Uh, I don't really have to wait for the pair to rise for another three pips. Um, let's move it. Let's go to the four hour time frame and see them. <laughs> Guys, I'm really sorry. It just happened right front of you. I'm not planning this. I was just showing you that it's not the good time to trade the pound NZD. However, pound JPY is much more active, and I'm thinking that it's actually a good time to uh, place some trades just to scalp it. So let's say, for example, I'm right now on the four hour time frame, and if I have placed my trade right here at the previous res uh, support, I should exit my trade at the nearest resistance. The nearest resistance is exactly right here. Let's see how many pips is that. Oh my god, it's 20 pips. <laughs> That's perfect 20 pips strategy, guys. And I believe let's let's just look at the left. I believe it's gonna be fine. Um I'm just thinking. And it's trust trust me, that is not easy when you are on YouTube and you are on live trading session on li your live account and you are thinking what you should do about the lot size. Um I'm thinking if I should make it one lot, I should then in increase my um, investment to be at least $400. Yeah, it has reached the... Uh, is it, did you hear the sound? It has... The, I'm going to do it. Yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yes, I'm going to do it. All right, good. All right. Yes, yes. Thank you. I got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, delete it. We don't need it anymore. So let's just be careful right now. I have opened the trade for shorting the pound GPY right here and as I said before I'm gonna place my take profit level to be at the nearest resistance which is right here $162 I really hope we will get them and I'm gonna set almost the same as my stop loss all right so we have uh, a sell order opened for the gold and we are also having sorry we're having a buy order for the gold and we are having sell for the pound GPY um, that's a good practice we are mixing now gold with the other pairs that's really good all right so I believe that's gonna be it and I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to wait right now so yeah let me now please pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with these two trades wait just wanted to, wanted to show you this look at this perfect reverse happened right here look at this perfect perfect reversal um, the pair has reversed exactly as 61.8 I have placed my buy order a little bit above it however it went down all the way just to touch FIBO 61.8 and right now look at this bullish candle 
the market seems like it's gonna rise uh, right now it's retesting the broken resistance and I believe it's gonna continue the rise so just wanted to confirm to you that the way I have drawn my Fibonacci retracement was simply perfect and just as I told you my friends you need to draw your Fibonacci retracement exactly from the first resistance right after the breakout and you always gonna be fine but all in all I'm gonna make another video talking about this and explaining how to draw Fibonacci in the right way so anyway uh, 18 minutes and we just only have two trades open so far let me know please pause the recording and I'll be back to you later guys and I will show you what will gonna happen with these two trades all right so just wanted to explain to everyone that I am actually mainly a scalper and as we can see right here okay I was going to close the trade because I was going to say that we're having here a previous resistance and the pound JPY might actually reverse at that resistance after becoming a new support so as I said I'm mainly a scalper and as you can see I have made $80 from this trade actually that's uh, more than enough for me and that count is right now above $2,000 uh, my target has been reached I'm gonna I had to close the pound JPY as I said, I'm not a greedy person. I just wanted to be sure that I'm gonna end in profit. I don't want to be um, risking uh, keeping this trade running f uh, more than that. I mean, $80 from this trade was actually enough for me. So I actually have made almost eight pips from this trade on the pound JPY, which was really good. Now going back to the gold, I want to make sure this is back to 0.77. Um, Making sure that now that I have drawn the Fibonacci retracement uh, in the right way We can see that the gold has been ranging. However, look at that strong rejection when the candle has actually fallen down again to retest 61.8 level for the second time not only that but also for the third time the market is now trying to reach or actually breaking out from that level of Fibo 61.8 however that level is strong and seem seemingly uh, I believe now the pair is actually actually gonna continue the rise that may, m might take some time but I just wanted to show you that drawing Fibonacci in the right way has helped me and as we as we can see the pair is right now ranging above that level so uh, I think we're fine and eventually we're gonna end up in profits so I really don't want to make this video be longer than that uh, 20 minutes but I believe you guys have learned really a lot about uh, scalping in this very small session or this short session uh, allow me now please again to pause the recording and I will show you in the end what will gonna happen with this trade so we can actually end the video and as you can see my friends the gold is going into the profit and to be honest with you uh, just what I did with the pound GPY I'm gonna close the thread right now because as I said I'm a scalper uh, $64 from one trade on the gold is actually enough for me I don't want to go above that the account is right now $2,100 that's enough that's totally fine just know when you should back up uh, you should just know when you should actually stop trading and don't be greedy by that I have grown this account more than thousand dollars in just actually since the last week <laughs> and uh, it's okay so far I'm, go I'm I think I'm doing well on my account uh, there was a few some losses uh, last I think Tuesday or Monday I don't remember however thankfully I was able to recover very quickly in the same day so I believe yes uh, that was it and I believe in the next video I'm going to talk more about Fibonacci retracement how we can actually uh, play with the Fibonacci retracement to find the best reversals and how we can do more scalping using the Fibonacci and it's gonna help you a lot actually to find the best levels of support and resistance and it's gonna save you a lot of time so until then I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching